Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Star Trek Online and in this one we're going to start a Klingon Delta recruit. Um, I have named him Liber Ceres and the reason for that is that Ceres was the Greek god of, ag sorry not Greek, Roman god of agriculture. Which is pretty much right because once the Klingon campaign is done for this guy he will pretty much be contraband and dilithium farming for the rest of his existence. Um, However, not to put a downside on everything, he does have magnificent hair, and I'm going to be going through the Klingon storyline. Klingon exclusive, similar to how I did with the Romulan, and uh, then I think after that's done I will... I'm not sure whether I want to do the Federation storyline or not, I might do the Federation storyline with my current Federation captain. And uh, then I will finish off the wound up storylines with my Romulan so we can all see where the remaining Iconian technology is. And that should pretty much do it, I think, at that point. Um, well, there might be a couple of different bits here and there for either faction. But for the moment, let's dive in and let's see what the Klingons have to offer us. Apart from cool music and a shot of a Starfleet ship, you'd really think they could have done a different one. Well, you can't argue with Glorious, can you? As long as there'll be a worthy foe, they could be Glorious. But no, I do not want to skip the tutorial. I did make a character before, but when I did that, I got no... Uh, when I did that, I'd forgotten to set the recorder. And boy, does that suck when you do that. So, no, I'm not going to skip the tutorial. And I also want to be a Delta recruit, so near. And we're going to get this storyline again, it looks like. This is the point we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You already heard yourself say it. It does not matter if it is not exactly right. The time stream will not be damaged. Just make sure that you give yourself this. It is our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs your blade, Dahar Master. Are you prepared? In this shithole of a place with really Welcome nice technology. To Star Trek Online. You are the second officer aboard a Klingon bird of prey, currently in charge of the Night Watch. You are in command of the ship while Captain Jerlight and First Officer Duran are off duty. Your ship nears its end. Third Officer Lieutenant Kagan would like to have a word with you before you leave the bridge. Well, a lot of people play Orions for, I guess, green. And boobs, definitely boobs. 
I was thinking of playing a Gorn just because I want to be a massive lizard, but I decided to go with a six foot six Klingon who's going to wield a goddamn Batleth. Yeah, yeah, we know all this stuff. Sir, we are nearing the end of the shift. I have logged the watch into the duty logs. I recommend approving them and the records of battle before Captain Jerlak arrives. Yes, sir. Everything awaiting your approval is on the console to the right of the main view screen. Remember, being a Klingon, you must yell at your superior officer and yeah, use dark, whatever. I got the Khan uniform going. Items have a blow around. Shut up. Okie doke. Let's have a look at the console. One thing I want to do a bit more of with the Klingon is uh, use melee combat, but because I'm an engineer, I'll probably be dropping mines on his head as well. I see the logs are updated and approved. I took it upon myself to make some adjustments to the standard disruptor target practice program on the holodeck. I think you'll enjoy the improvements. You took it upon yourself to do something? You are demoted to ninth officer. Ooh, scary music and great Captain Klingon. Guess I'd better greet old Foggy over here then, hadn't I? Greetings, Captain Punching Face. Look, Nick, I see you kept my ship from blowing up during the night watch. Get to the racks as soon as you can. Your next shift starts in six hours. First Officer Duran and I will take it from here. Don't get much sleep on Klingon ships, do they? Anyway, I guess I better go to the holodeck. Because he has a fun disruptor program for me. Ah yes, we have to do all this rubbish again. I don't know why they can't keep your... Uh, I really don't get why they can't keep your... Actually, I'm going to put non-combat cancels on that. Um, I do not understand why they can't keep your um, settings from, pre from other characters. It seems like you'd want to use them all the time, really. Yeah. Yep, so that was good for an honourable Klingon warrior, wasn't it? Whoa! Well, sparklies, definitely sparklies. Hey, he looks like me. He has magnificent hair like me. Okay, let's talk to him. Lies! Apparently that was enough to convince me. And once again, we've got the same thing that we had when we were the Romulans. This, the Iconians are coming, and they're probably going to kick the crap out of us. Except now we're going to get a Klingon point of view on everything, which is going to be a lot more awesome and involve punching stuff more. Really weird sort of temporal paradoxy thing. <laughs> so basically, this is a prod. You will discover something. Just don't, just don't forget to not discover it, sort of thing. You are 
Now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammate. Good, good. Just want to stop that from flashing green. It annoys me. Now I should have my account wide bonuses from my other uh, Delta recruit. So when I get to level 10, I'll be able to use those. Um, the one thing that I do have at the moment, we still have bonus XP until I think Thursday, so I will be utilizing that as much as possible this week to try and level my guy at least to sort of level 20 or so, uh, just so that I can uh, sort of get on with things. I don't intend to spend a lot of money on ships or anything like that. This Klingon is definitely a third character. Um, he will be third behind my Fed Scientist and my uh, Romulan because I mean unfortunately there's just not a huge amount for Klingons to do but for what there is to do I want to experience because there is new content and as you can see there's plenty of storyline to go to in fact uh, let's see That's where we've got up to with the Romulans. So basically, we're looking at doing Empire War Zone. Uh, for Cleary Return. So it'll be Empire War Zone for Cleary Return, Vigilance. And that's it, I think, the rest of the uh, stuff we have already been through. So it's not going to be too much storyline, but hopefully it'll be enough to whet the appetite for a bit. Ikea Sigma, this is Captain Jerlek. We are ready to receive the transfer. Captain Jerlek. This is Captain Katka, the Ikea Sekpa. We're beaming over the Federation prisoner now. Prisoner received, Sekpa. Oh boy. Shields, pay shields. Auto stations, all troops out of prison. I'm kind of thinking that if a ship, if a Galaxy Class Starship fired a spread of photon torpedoes at a ship where its shields were down, the ship would be vaporized. We shouldn't really be around anymore, but we're going to fix things because we're an engineer and that is our job to fix things. I'm pretty sure I'll take my uh, Klingon to level 60 uh, because... There's no point not doing, I might get a fleet to join at some point, um, but it'd be nice just to have an engineer, a scientist and a tactical officer on standby no matter which side I go Papa, to. you're alive. This is First Officer Duran, and here's the situation. We took custody of a Federation prisoner from the IKS Sigma almost immediately after transport. A Starfleet cruiser showed up and attacked. We took some severe damage. But we were able to get our shields up before they could beam over. They've launched shuttles and have boarded the ship on the lower decks. Because they can get through shields where a transporter can't. Yay! We have the first piece of whoops, we forgot how things work. Our security teams are tied up all over the ship. So I need your help securing the lower deck. Grab a rifle from the armory locker and then make your way to the lower decks. I don't know how they were able to enter our shuttle bay. So check the bodies for anything that can give us a clue as to how they were able to board us. One or two of them might be carrying something useful. Interact with the armory. Once you be, be a bit of a stupid thing to do, but they did. Oh well, skill points are in. And since I'm on the ground, I'm going to... Ooh, demolitions. I'm definitely going to pump that up to max because of uh, orbital strike, which is one of the 
you know, which is one of an engineer's utterly ridiculous uh, things. But weapon proficiency is one thing we all want, and obviously starship weapons training as well. Take that all. Well, we're actually just going to take it all the way up to max right away. We're going to do some damage. That's what we're going to do. Right, let's grab a rifle. Oh, good. A crappy disruptor pulse wave. Oh, cool. We've got a batleth. We've got a batleth. It's hacky slashy time. Hacky slashy time. Yeah, take these off auto fire because they're not very good when they're on auto fire. Specialist thing for uh... oh, so it's all ground weaponry, so it is armed combat, so that's cool. It's skull crushing time, boys. There's the advantage of a melee weapon. You can fight through shields. And you do quite a lot of damage with it, I've got to admit. It's uh, nice. Very nice. Why just cut them up? Why the hell would I want to? Uh, you know, why the hell would I want to use a gun when I've got a bat left? Seems like a fairly foolish thing to do, really. And don't forget, we have bonus XP, so I should go flying up the ranks, hopefully. Wowzers! So our captain has betrayed us. You recovered that message from the Federation borders? My suspicions about our talk of a captain have been confirmed. I've been seeing signs of Jerlik's cowardice and incompetence for months now. But finally, this is the proof I need to challenge him. I see you are near the brig. I want you to talk to the Federation prisoner there. Find out why he is so valuable, and then report back directly to me. Kabla! Klingon needs an excuse to challenge their captain? I didn't think they did. Incoming mother! Yeah! <laughs> think we got him. So who is this guy, anyway? He looks way too calm about his current situation. And I don't recognize that uniform. Ah, someone wants to talk. First off, this is Captain Jerlek's ship, correct? And if my hunch is correct, Jerlek allowed the Federation to land in an effort to rescue me, thereby saving his own hide in the process. It's my business to know things. Does First Officer Duran know of the Captain's betrayal? If she does, I expect she's already challenged and killed Captain Jerlek by now. 
Honor duels in the Klingon chain of command. So predictable. Challenge the person above you to a duel to the death. And if you win, you get their rank and position. Hmm. Oh. Trying to reach First Officer Duran. I regret to inform you that she has been relieved of her duties permanently. But I am glad it is you who call. You are my new First Officer. I suggest you make your way to the bridge and prepare to follow my order. Yes, I killed her! She insulted my honor with faceless accusations of treason and then attempted to take my ship through treachery! Ah, now it makes sense. As my new first officer, I hope you are not as foolish as Doran was. Or do you want to join her in death? Did she have a knife in her back? That's an unclingon way to fight. Hmm, Captain Jurlak killed First Officer Duran. That I did not foresee. Jurlak is a coward and he was one we could easily remove. Duran should have been able to get the job done. Fail. Like I said, it's my business to know things. Captain Jurlak wants to trade me for his life. More of your crewmates will die in the process. If you have other plans, well, don't let me tell you what you need to do. That guy seems way too in control of his surroundings. I guess it's my turn to go and punch the captain out. I've got a bat left, damn it. I'm going to kick him in the head with it. You have arrived. Are you fit to assume your new rank? I like that that is how it's said, because that is how Klingon first officers act. And I stand for the crew. I assume you mean kill the captain. And take his place? Foolish child, you don't understand. The Federation is the enemy the Klingon Empire cannot defeat. Time and time again, for centuries now, we have battled them again and again. And when we were allies, the Federation dominated us, subsuming our culture with their own. He does have a point. In the DS9 Federation Klingon War, uh, Kern opposed the war with the Federation just due to the fact the Federation is a sleeping lion and poking it with a stick is probably not the best thing to be doing. We cannot conquer them. We should not try. We will have our victory. But I am not facing off against the Federation if there is a way. It's not cowardice. It's survival. Those are not the words of a Klingon. You think you can kill me, Well, You're welcome to try. I will whoop you with my bat left. No, bat left. There you go. You even got a gun out in a duel. You are a dishonorable lech. Have it! Where's the Klingon death howl? Sir, I... Uh, I see you are captain now. I am Kegon, son of Kerr. I now take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but I stand for the crew. I will enter the change of command into the record of battle. Would you like me to address the crew? <laughs> At least we get a nice obedient first officer. This guy was third officer. 
And then he finally, you know, in charge of the night shift, and now he's first officer. Admittedly, the ship's a little bit burning at the moment, but hopefully we can get things back to normal. Attention crew! Captain Jurlek and First Officer Doran are dead. The former Second Officer is now in command of the ship by right of combat. I am now the First Officer. The Captain has ordered us to prepare the ship for combat. We're going after the Federation Targs who dared board our ship! I do love and shields are online, sir. I expect weapons soon. Our cloaking device may take a bit longer. I love how the um, the Orion female face palms everyone else is like your battle. Okay, Kagan, impress me. Your order, sir. A load of skill points, please. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Jeez, already? Wow. Okie dokie. Um, well, I'll up my weapon proficiency because I'm definitely going to want that. And... Yeah. We're going to go driver coil because, again, I want to be able to move. So I think we're... I think we're doing good so far. Level 4 already. This Captain! There's no sign of the Sigpa on scanners. We don't know if the Feds destroyed her, but I suggest we not worry about that just yet. Engines and shields are operational, but we need Iridium to facilitate immediate repairs to other systems, and our Iridium stores were lost in the ambush. Fortunately, there are some asteroids in the vicinity that might have what we need. Fair enough, so... Oh, it's good to be back in a ship which has default 50 in all, you know, default 50 in all the weapons. There you go, that feels much Increase better. Increase your speed. And here's Kagan, our tactical officer. And he has high yield torpedo. <sighs> So move towards the asteroid dead ahead. We don't have full impulse yet either. So we are currently moving at impulse 8. Which is pretty much not moving. We're in command of an old bird of prey. I do like how they give you the iconic ships. Admittedly I bought a constitution class ship for the Federation. So I would use that on a Delta recruit if I made one. Um, but you get the 22nd century bird of prey as a Romulan. And you get this bird of prey as the Klingon. So, yeah. Pretty awesome, really. Helm! Full stop! Sir, I recommend we use the scanners to see if this contains any iridium. What's the betting it doesn't? This asteroid contains no iridium, but there is that nearby field that might prove better prospecting. Okay. And the Klingons have a normal cloak, not a battle cloak. Sir, I recommend using full impulse to reach the asteroid field. And we have full impulse now, yay! ship this time but from now on you'll be responsible for controlling the speed of the ship Ugh. too much for you is it promising results sir calibrating the scanners for a better look found several asteroids that contain iridium captain weapons are back online <laughs> We found 
some iridium. <laughs> oh, it's behind something else, that's why. That's decent damage already. Captain, I'm picking up a Starfleet distress signal. Seems that a frigate looking for us took a hit in a nearby asteroid field. They are disabled. Might I suggest we add to the record of battle by disposing of this Federation scum? Your order, sir. I'm not sure that killing defenseless freighters is part of any Klingon honor code. I don't think there'll be many songs sung about that one, but... Uh, why not? Why not? Mayday! Mayday! Under attack by the Pharrell, we were searching for you. Say good night. Ooh, hello. Sir, a Federation repair. Yeah, I suggest we take them out as well. Yep, seems good to me. Two little Mirandas, otherwise known as the cart horse of the Dominion War. Whenever you saw them, they were getting murdered. Unfortunately for them, we have determined the location of the ships that are jamming us. My recommendation is that we destroy those ships so we can locate the Segpa. It's going to be a tougher fight than what you faced so far, but the crew is feeling up to the challenge. I think Your so. Order, sir. I think that will be good. Other thing I need to sort out. There we go. A Shikar class frigate, okay. Still shouldn't be too much of a challenge. about disruptor turrets or disruptor weapons is that they give you a they give the opponent a damage resistance debuff so every time they get or you know when they get hit it's a big time uh, drop when it triggers where is captain Jarlick? disposed of <laughs> finally that miserable topa had been a blight for far too long congratulations May you bring glory to your ship and your house. Speaking of which, do you want to join our fight against this Federation Patak? My long range comms are down, so I cannot notify High Command of the situation. Communications officer, make a report to command. Give them our coordinates and tell them the Segpa is in need of assistance. Let's just sort something out quickly. Sir, the Federation ship is hailing us. Good. I just want to know what uh, balance shield is. Where's balance shields? I'm gonna make it here. On screen. This is the Federation ship USS Musashi hailing incoming Klingon vessel. 
galaxy class ship, huh? Well then, I assume you realize how outgunned you are? <sighs> I'll cut you the same deal I had with Jerlek. Give us your prisoner, and we'll let you escape. And live to fight another day. Failure to comply means we'll disable your ship and take the prisoner by force. This is a bit upsetting because you've got a hot redhead Bajoran as the captain I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh well. Sure you wouldn't want to do this some other way? Your order, sir! You're making a huge mistake. Well, Bajorans never did know when to quit. We don't need him. Whoa. Ouchies. Bye bye, Hot Bajoran. Yeah, he's uh, very, very... Uh, he seems not your average Federation dude, doesn't he? Congratulations, Lieutenant. Whoa, look how close I got to going up three levels. But I can now put non-shitty... Well, still shitty, but not quite as shitty weapons. Can I do anything yet? Nope, but I can spend some skill points. What are we going to have? Well, let's put more into weapon proficiency, because I just want to punch stuff. Uh, more into driver coil, because I want to actually move. There we go. Let's see what High com Command has to say. I've learned evasive maneuvers, yay! I can run away. So, we can have a look at our skill points, we can see what engineering captains get. Um, like for example, you can't train anything on these, but... So there we go. Uh, for impulse thrusters, we can get emergency power to engines three. Engine performance, we can get eject warp plasma three. Shield, we can get extend shields three. Auxiliary, we can get emergency power to auxiliary three. And that's the one we'll definitely want, emergency power to weapons three. Any others that we can get for engineers? Engineering Captain, we can get Direct Energy Modulation 3 when we put Energy Weapon Specialization in. Which is obviously going to be really good. And what about any of this lot? Nope. Nope. Ah, we can get Emergency Power to Shields 3 from Starship Shield Systems. Three. 
Ray. And yeah, nothing interesting there. What about down here? Okay, we can unlock Chronoton Barrier, Chronoton Mine 3 and Combat Supply 2 from Demolition, so we'll definitely be getting that. So we'll get Shield Recharge 3, we might want that as well, and Engineering Team 3. PS Generator does nothing. Generator means I can do Shield Generator 3 and Cover Shield 3. Turrets and Drones, yeah, Phaser Turret Fab 3 and Support Drone 2. And finally, Modification Specialist gives me access to Quick Fix 3 and Equipment Diagnostics 3. So, there's plenty of stuff we can learn. So let's head to Kronos. Yeah, I've got up to Lieutenant already, despite the fact I'm not out of the tutorial. I might even be able to get to level 10 just by doing the tutorial, which I think would be pretty hilarious. Um, don't forget, you get a buff by being a Delta recruit. I think you get like 50% better experience, but we're also in a week where you get double experience as well. So leveling up is incredibly fast. It's like, I would not be surprised if I'm level 50 by the end of the Klingon storyline, even though it's only three stories long. So you're the one with my prisoner. Congratulations. We've captured him many times, but no one has ever actually gotten him as far as Kronos before he escaped. He's quite the prize. Beam down directly to the prison here in First City, and we'll make arrangements for the prisoner transfer. Kronos Prison Facility out. Fair enough. Let's head down to the prison. And we'll be able to see what's what. Time to talk to good old Fangy McGornson. I'm still not as tall as him. I made a six foot six Klingon with magnificent hair and I'm looking directly at this Gorn's navel. Are you the one delivering my prisoner? This is a prison facility in the heart of First City. I have the strongest Gorn guards and the fiercest Klingon interrogators. And on the off chance that a prisoner even could escape, they would find themselves in the most hostile environment they could imagine. First City, the heart of the Klingon Empire, teeming with Klingons, Gorns, Nosikins, Orions, and Lethians. And roaring! I tell that there are even Romulans walking the streets these days. This sounds like a Klingon reply. Guards! Incoming Federation prisoner! Prepare cell 31 for his arrival. Really? 31? It's kind of obvious where this guy's from now, isn't it? Well, he seems secured enough. The Warriors Batleth Arena. Okay. Well, I'm holding a Batleth and a shiny one. Look how shiny my Batleth is. Thrak, who are you? Uh. No one important, it seems. Okay, let's go through the door. There's always fire in places like this. Toja, I think. So, you were the new captain who earned his position by defeating a superior in personal combat. Uh, yeah, the first officer was a weakling who lost. So therefore, I killed him. I see. Well, this is an unusual circumstance. 
and High Command wishes to clean things up, as it were. I love how they only got her to record half of her lines. Fine, if I have to, I'll kick everyone's ass. You'll do. Your ass. Is that good enough? Melee weapons have a chance to expose with each strike. In addition, they are able to perform exploits as well as other effects. But you must use combos to do so. Now I've got to kill someone else, really? No one else has to go through this. Easy enough, isn't it, really? Weapon proficiency helps an awful lot there. You successfully challenged your superior officer in personal combat. In addition, you have proved your prowess in melee combat here in the Warrior's Hall. Thank you very much. Take this kit. Kits add abilities that you can use in combat, based on your chosen profession. Engineering, in fact. I'm being an engineer because I find it ironic. I'm pretty sure Klingon engineering is hitting it until it stops arguing with you. Hey, they want me to talk to Jim Park, huh? Here's where all the uh, all the guys are. Ah, first city. So many things, and oh, look who it is! Greetings. How may fight with honor? I am Worf, son of Mo, Gintak of the House of Martok. And yes, I am the one you have heard stories of. I served the Federation proudly. I served under two of the finest commanders in Starfleet and fought many battles for the Federation. I regret nothing. But when war came between our people and my adopted family, I had to make a choice. The honorable path was here. Fight with honor. Interesting. Yep, Worf uh, decided to side with the Klingons over the Federation, uh, mainly due to the fact that, uh, probably due to the fact that everything he knows is gone. The treachery of the Undine. Yep, especially the Undine. The Klingons found out about the Undine, the Federation wouldn't listen. And it's one of those strange things where the Federation is always seen as the good guys, but on this occasion they're unwilling to act against the Undine, and the Klingons were, and that caused this state of war. Yeah, condemnation, not a good idea. So he left the Federation to fight the Undine. That's what the uh, Chancellor needs to be. Oh, Duras. Why do I hate it when I hear that name? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yep, uh, Toral is dead, but Lursa had another son, Gerard, and he was the son when she was pregnant in the seventh season of TNG, I want to say. He was taken in by the house of Torg. It's all about honour. Yep, Jim Pox slew Martok in ritual combat, and uh, fully explains the fact Jim Pox one of the you know, is the best in the Empire with a Batleth. He was able to defeat Undine with uh, a Batleth, so yeah, it doesn't surprise me really, especially since Martok only had one eye. Yes. House of Martok and Duras, who'd have thought? Oh, we've already read that. And what about the Great Houses? And we're done. So we know a bit about the law, and what have we got over here? Another law singer. The rules of honor. There you go. The wind does not respect a fool. And that can also be. Uh, applied to some combat situations where if you're in a situation where you cannot possibly win there is no point in dying needlessly so that can sort of explain a retreat if you're a Klingon I think that's the same one yeah Five hundred on two, and Kalis and Lucara win. Kalis sounds pretty awesome. But anyway, let's go and speak to Jim Park. Ah, we have found somebody. Kwapla, what do you require from Klingon Temporal Intelligence? I am Lieutenant Kwan of Klingon Temporal Intelligence. Starfleet has their own temporal division, and so it was decided that the Klingon Defense Force devote a portion of its efforts to monitoring the time stream. Although we've been forced to spend much of our time over the past few years cleaning up the mess left behind by the House of Bavat, we deal with all past and future threats against the Empire. I am authorized to discuss with you matters dealing with time travel or any visits you may have had from visitors who claim to be from another time. What's Bavat done? An encounter. Something temporal in nature, I take it. I am authorized to do a scan for chroniton radiation. That will tell us what we need to know. There is some light chroniton radiation on you. You were exposed to someone from the future, it seems. But not too far. By these readings, I'd say a maximum of 18 months from the day you encountered them. They were a Daha master, yep. Yeah. You seem very capable. Killing your captain to claim his position already puts you ahead of most of your fellow officers. An opportunist like yourself could definitely attain the title of Dahar Master in a short amount of time. I love how they explain this. 
This looks to be a Tesseract-based receiver. Where did you get it? I see. We've heard of these. We've acquired intelligence from Starfleet about an incident where one of their captains was given a similar device. These are used to send back information, and in some cases, physical objects from the future. I believe that if you were to do specific tasks that benefit the future, items useful to you could be sent back in time for you to use. Your future self gave you a te You can also open... You know, it... It kind of goes back when you... You know, you can see... The... So let me read... There you go, I've got Kronos on mine, Barry, you know. It almost makes you a little bit unhappy when you can see what they could have done with Enterprise and they just didn't end up doing it. Although, from what I... I mean, I haven't done a huge amount of play in Enterprise, but... From what I'm very much aware of, the later seasons of Enterprise were where it started getting good, but at that point, too much damage had been done. There he is! The hero that brought us the Federation prisoner! The warrior who saved the Segpa! I am indeed. I am pretty awesome, I have to say. You'll be keeping an eye on me. Hopefully not this one, where you almost got slashed across your entire face. That's nasty. Now, before you go flying off to find your adventure, there is a matter of your duties as a captain in the Klingon Defense Force. Yep, I have to tell uh, the First Officer's husband that, um, well, she was a weakling and ended up dying. Working at the Exchange, okay. Bat let out. And let's get a motoring. At least everything's signposted. Yeah, doors. I've come the wrong way, haven't I? Okay. Everything's signposted, and then I go the wrong way. Klingons aren't known for intelligence. Leave me alone. Here we go. Oi, Ferengi, tell me things. Greetings. I am Tharn, a fully certified banker and financial investor. What can I help you with today? Chagrin? Oh, right. He's one of the maintenance engineers. Make sure the exchange computers are up and running. Last I knew, he was running diagnostics in the warehouse located in the back of the exchange. I know where I am. It's the exchange. So I'm not going to go on here yet because I don't have any money. I have two dilithium though. Ooh, I get to bring my tactical officer with me. Oh. <laughs> and he's on the deck as well. Nossick and smugglers. They must have known I was all alone in here. Ambushed me. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Dying, dying, dying. Oh, the chronoton mines went off. Straight up mowing down. Wow, I got a large hypo already. 
and let's remove this code before anyone else comes in. There we go. And I don't even have skill points yet, although... Oh, I now get rewrote power to shields, which is a, a shield regeneration. Nice. And I get rotate shield frequency as well for uh, space. That's quite cool. I don't think I have any skill points to spend, though. No, because I was so close anyway, it doesn't really uh, matter. Now let the war pass in this direction begin. Stop crying, you... Oh, I can punch him! Come here, I can punch the Ferengi. Punch the Ferengi. Bang! Cop for that! That was probably unnecessary, but it was funny. Oh, I see Kagan died. Let's head back and tell this guy the good news. You fight well. So what does this do? Cool. Tell him, Chagrin. Who am I? Mazarog! Nothing but a smuggling Yenta! I've had enough of you, Chagrin. You pay for my losses with your blood. I'll see if a I can. A real warrior never lets his prey escape. I guess it makes sense. Thinking about it, it makes sense because I can charge someone and then just drop chronoton mines on top of me. That it actually does make sense for me to be a Batleth warrior. And I get a new brand new personal shield for that. Yeah, that actually might make some sense. Might be a tiny bit far fetched, but it I think it person I personally think it makes a lot of sense. So I think I will go with that for the moment. I'm just gonna go straight up, hardcore, Klingon Batleth Warrior. Until a better thing comes along. Anyway, we now have to tell this guy about his poor unfortunate wife who sucks so bad at challenging you said the you captain. Have something to tell me that uh, she ended up dying. She didn't die valiantly in battle, she was rubbish. I understand. She was a true warrior. It is good you were able to avenge her death. Very well indeed. And finally gets, and I get some stones. Lieutenant, and another level. And we're being summoned to the prison. Oh, something went wrong with the prisoner already. Oh God, are you sh that guy shouldn't be out of here already. Eh, I can put some armor on at least. Seriously, that guy's got out already. How far are we in? Okay, I'll do this one more thing and then we can go, I think. 
and then I will call it a call it a day for this mission or for this video. Oh, this is the first mission. There is actually Iconian data in this mission. The hunt is on. Let me just check. Is this actually the first episode? Yes, it is. So, yeah, we're going to do duties of command and we'll do the hunt is on and then that will be the end of this video. How did you screw this one up? Yep, definite mess. You suck, buddy boy. How do I get out of here? How do I... Oh, that way. Ugh, lousy idiot. You can't rely on anyone. Can't rely on anyone these days. It's really like awful. I saw the trio you're looking for. They were talking to Tulak the Tailor right over there. Now don't block my view. Okie dokie. Again. Yes, they were just here. They made a quick purchase and then made their way to the western slums. Garad hangs out over there. You should speak to him. And speaking of new clothes, I could outfit you and your crew in the latest in Klingon fashion for the right price. You can shut up. I'm wearing Batask uniform. It's the best thing ever. And I have a huge bat left. That looks like it's cutting me into pieces. Oh, I went down the wrong way. It's going to be this way, isn't it? Ugh. What do you have to tell me, Garad? A stranger, Orion, and a Nausicaan. <laughs> Is this a joke? No, it's not, but it will be funny if I cut your head off with a bat left. Okay, into the apartment complex. With both my guys. My guy fell over, and now he's back. I have skill points to spend. couple of thousand more in weapon efficiency and we're maxed out on that good and 3,000 up here so I can max driver coil and then I can max out hull repair
so I've now got to investigate down here. Yep, they knew. Him. I'm gonna die. Oh, I got my re I got my recharge shields up, but okay, okay, gun. There's too many of them in there. Iconian data, let's have some of this. The Federation has had two previous encounters with Iconian technology that we know of. First in 2365, when the USS Yamato and USS Enterprise D located Iconia, the lost homeworld of the Iconians. And again in 2372, when Captain Benjamin Sisko and a team of Starfleet officers joined with their Jem'Hadar enemies to destroy an Iconian gateway in the Gamma Quadrant. The Iconian's reach is vast, and they are dangerous. We can no longer ignore this threat. Correct. So we need to deactivate some bombs, do we? We've got one here. The Federation were hiding all along. Right in the middle of the Imperial City. the last one. <laughs> You're too late. You may have defused the bombs, but your quarry is long gone. Uh, it's a whooping for you. Damn it! Oh, I've got auto fire on. interrogate you if you weren't dying fair oh look is that a transporter yes just wonderful find out where you went.
Okay, I guess we're gonna try and chase him out of here. Get motoring and let's head to the transporter pad. Get back up to our ship and hopefully find this guy. But. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Auto fire on melee weapons works really badly, but you obviously want it on for ground weapons, so you have to keep flicking in between, which is awkward to say the least. Let's head on to the shipyard. We do get our first Iconian data doobery though. We can claim. And that will give us... I'm going to take Omega Marks because I don't have a fleet with this guy, so this guy's just going to be taking Marks, Marks, Marks. No, I don't really want to customise my ship. You interested in buying a slightly used ship? Oh yes, just minutes ago, I sold him a shuttle. Lucky for you, I kept a copy of the transponder code of the shuttle he just bought. Good boy. Let's get hold of this guy. Or at least try to. That wasn't him, was it? That's engineering team, okay. And that's rotation. I'm disappointed he was able to get off Kronos, but not surprised. He's a slippery one. Do what you need to do to bring him back. You have his warp trail, so I begin with that. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. And there we go. I am Lieutenant Commander already. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander already, Rock 10. So, Space Chase will be the next mission that we do however the first thing that I want to do well I've got a couple of things first off let's claim this which will get us a load of like mark 2 rubbish I think uh, I'll take space weapons oh it's mark 4 so it's not entirely useless that. So turret. And we'll use some Mark IV weapons up front. That seems pretty cool. I'll keep the torpedo for the moment. But the other thing I want to do now is uh, just drop this mission if I can. Boreth, okay. It's in process, but can I beam down? I want to see if I can beam down and claim my uh, account wide. And the other thing you get from being in the Omega Leonis block, you get all access to all of these immediately, which is pretty cool. 
Well, the first thing I want to do is go into is to go into Kronos because I want to see if I can talk to that Temporal Investigation guy and claim a load of stuff. Do I need to go a lot closer to the planet? What's going on here? There we go, beam to first city. And now I should be able to chat with Doofa Mc... Should be able to chat with the Temporal Investigations dude, who is there, I believe. Or is he there? There he is. He's this way. Let's see if I can get my account white. Because I'm level 10 now. Quapla. I can get temporal insight, I see. Can actually see. I need to be level 50 to use them. Oh well. Let's be accurate for the moment. Okay, I can't get hold of a load of other stuff, but that seems fine to me. And with that, we will leave it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll enjoy watching the remainder of the Klingon storyline. See you next time.